Well, it could be about the fact that substances contract as they cool and expand as they heat up. Yeah, not all substances. What about how solids sink in their liquid counterpart? Yeah, that's not true. What do you know? This means water doesn't behave properly. Well. Water, H2O, right? But what you probably didn't know is that water is something called a polar molecule. It acts like a magnet. One side, the hydrogen atoms have a partial positive charge, and the other side, the oxygen atom, has a partial negative charge. Two water molecules together will attract to each other's opposite charges like so, and form a hydrogen bond. Bam! Hydrogen bond! Bam! Hydrogen bond! But these bonds are usually not stable. They break apart and reform, break apart and reform, due to the molecules vibrating with heat energy. This is what room temperature water looks like on a molecular level. But take the heat energy away, and the bonds become more rigid. Now, because every molecule needs to have a hydrogen bond, they have to get into a position that ensures everyone gets one. We end up with these hexagonal structures, and this is how water expands when it cools instead of contracting. The molecules aren't packed as tightly, creating more space between them and resulting in a lesser density. And that is why, despite all that we think we know, solid water floats in its liquid counterpart. How rebellious!